Okay, hey everybody, my name is Allie Vasquez. I am here from Frederick, Maryland. Um, you might know me as La Mujer de las Casas. I am here with two of, when I say my BFFs in real estate, I actually genuinely mean that. I am here with my buddy, Frank. Frank, introduce yourself, please. Hi, everybody. I'm Frank Reese. I'm the sales director of Cowell Banker in the Maya Riviera, the area of Playa del Carmen to Tulum. Nice to meet you, everybody. Oh, and Frank's not just like, I'm in Playa del Carmen. Uh, I just heard, Frank, that you were the fifth highest selling, what was that? Fifth highest selling person, Pobo Banker in Mexico, like in the entire franchise, which is the number one franchise in Mexico. So Frank is in the- the entire country. <laughs> so much. Frank is awesome. Frank makes me laugh in all of our realtor conferences. I just look at him and he gives me a side eye and we start cracking up. <laughs> then I have my girl, Myra. Myra is my twin. Like Myra, Myra is my, I call her, we are the Frederick Fresno. Frederick and Fresno are the same place I, in my eyes. She's just on the West Coast. Myra, introduce yourself, please. Hello, I'm Myra Cruz and I'm here in Fresno, California. Okay, hold on. We have somebody joining. Join us. Yes. I have our friend Nick joining us here momentarily. Um, Nick is from a very unique market that is experiencing a lot of stuff right now. So hopefully he'll be joining in our call. Um, but for now, let's talk about what level of quarantine are you on right now? Personally, here in Maryland, our governor is kicking ass and taking names. He is not taking no shit. He is making sure that we are all safe. And so he is way ahead of the curve as far as on this one, I think, as opposed to, you know, what has been happening nationally and internationally. Um, so we are currently on, we have no bars and restaurants open um, as, as of Monday. Um, obviously the social distancing and all those things, but I heard and this is all through the grapevine, and that's how most things are getting passed right now, that we're going to be in shelter in place here within the next 24 hours. So we're pretty darn close to lockdown. Maryland has more cases than there are in the entire country of Mexico. So we're pretty much, um, we're in crappy pants mode. Frank, what's happening in Playa del Carmen and Mexico in general? Well, actually, the government started to take measurements uh, really early. Uh, no one is going to school. Uh, most of the companies are home working. So that gave us a lot of uh, good, uh, like right now, we only have 93 cases in the entire country. In my state, there's only four cases. Uh, some of the hotels, they are canceling reservations as well. Um, we lost all the uh, Europe people. Uh, we're uh, losing a lot of uh, flights from the United States as well. So basically, uh, the tourism is going down right now. But I think this is good because, you know, uh, first of all, we don't want to spread everything, this disease more than it, it's already all around. Yes. So if everybody right. tries we're to do in a second little home bit of market, right? You're in a second home market? Yes, I'm in the second home market. And most of my clients, they come all from all around the world, uh, mainly from the United States and Canada, but also from Europe and even from Mexico. We have a lot of people investing from Mexico here. Um, but, uh, and that was a big concern for us because you have all these people coming and you cannot control the access of everybody at the same time coming by air, by land, and it's, it's very difficult. But at the end, everybody's joining forces. Um, there is a lot of uh, talking between the people at the government. They are taking actions. We are taking actions in our office. Uh, I send everybody to work from home. And our market keeps uh, working. It's just a matter of uh, do what we have to do at least for two or three weeks and like that, everybody just will be fine. Cool. All right, Myra, what now? I know, obviously we closed down schools too, but Myra, I know people here think that California is like, Ugh, but I see you and you're in your office. Tell me about that. Oh, by the yeah. way, I'm drinking a beer because it's hitting the fan right now. I don't even care. Go ahead, Myra, tell me. Let me get my bottle right now. Yeah. <laughs> Let's play. No, um, <laughs> <I'm> not playing. 
I am in my office, uh, not my home office yet. I'm here at my actual office. Um, there's not a lot of agents here. We are maybe less than uh, 10 people here at the office. Um, of course, we are taking all the measurements that, you know, that we have to take. Um, we are not in lockdown yet. Maybe, uh, I know there's, um, in the Bay Area, it's like two and a half hours away from Fresno, California. Uh, they are in lockdown. I know that there's like five counties out there that uh, they are in mandatory lockdown. Here in Fresno, we are not in lockdown yet. Um, I mean, you know, all schools, restaurants, um, some restaurants are closed. Some of them are doing uh, not dine-in, only takeout or even delivery. Um, of course, all bars are closed, um, but major um, schools, you know, they're, as you know, they're all closed. Um, well, here in Fresno, Frederick and Fresno are on the same wavelength. We're at a similar level of lockdownitude. <laughs> I just made up a word, <laughs> you like it? And Frank, <laughs> wife is joining us but she doesn't want to be in the video I'm sure okay so my question is how is this affecting your day-to-day -day operations I'll give you I'll tell you what's going on here um, I have been going on showings and I know that it's bad but I go out one showing at a time it's not like I'm going to show 15 houses I think that's slightly irresponsible uh, when I go out I bring my wipes I bring my gloves I bring everything I can I am shocked this morning I went into a house and another realtor was there and he was elderly and he looked like he was just rolling in. And I was like, Oh, just, and I wanted to show him, give him some good faith. I wiped, I said, I just wanted to let you know, before you got here, I wiped down every door. I wiped down the keys. I wiped down the lockbox. I wiped everything. And, and he was like, Oh, okay. And I said, aren't you concerned? And he was like, yes, I'm very concerned. And I was like, boy, but what you doing about it? Like I was blown away. I was in a disgusting house, no matter what, uh, whether there were, there was virus particles or not. I had to throw away my shoes just because of the disgustingness of the home. That's a first for me, but, um, we're definitely taking all the precautions. I went to the grocery store. I felt terribly guilty, but my kids need food, especially if we're going to be in this, um, in a, in a heightened, even more heightened state of lockdown. And, um, but I'm doing a lot of, I mean, you know, I'm doing a lot of listing calls over the phone. Um, people are already like, I'm stuck in my house. I hate my flooring. What do you recommend? So I think everything is percolating for a big boom after this. And that's not just me being optimistic. Trust me. I want to be so pessimistic, but I'm, I'm definitely shocked by some of the things that people are thinking about when we're also panicking. Myra, what about you? Um, I'm surprisingly more busier than ever. Um, I have a lot of buyers calling me, uh, doing buyers consultation. Uh, right now, I think we're going to start doing virtual, uh, buyers consultation. Uh, but I think as of this week, I'm going to finish up doing the consultations, um, in person. Of course, I'm telling them if you're sick, uh, do not come. And I'm only limiting one person, um, you know, to come. I uh, make sure that, you know, they bring all the documents and then I'm having uh, the person, um, the loan officer, you know, take care of that. Um, and um, I'm doing a few showings. Um, and I think that's just going to be this week, probably the following week, uh, depending on how things are. Um, I think it's just going to be all by phone and by online. Um, but other than that, I think we're going to probably have to stay home. Okay, Frankie. ¿Qué pasa? Well, actually, this morning I had a, a contract signed for, I had these clients from Denver, and I was looking in the internet, oh, there's an, 196 cases in Denver, and here there's only four, it's like, hmm. But, you know, I mean, what I can tell you is, we, we lived this before, uh, we have this big virus before, uh, the uh, flu virus, oh, my and God. Uh, they were saying that uh, in Mexico, the uh, flu virus was so big and uh, nobody uh, would go to Mexico because you're gonna get sick, et cetera, et cetera. And the thing is that there was no virus here and, uh, and the market just went down. But you know what? Destruction brings construction. 
So now is the time to, to get everything together because there's going to be a lot of people interesting in to know about deals. What deal you have? Nobody's going to buy. Oh, well, I don't have deals, but I have these beautiful properties. Buy now. Um, I think that this is only for a, a short time. We're still working. We're still uh, doing all our marketing strategies. We're following our clients. And our mindset needs to be not 100% up. It needs to be laser Mexican, like big, big, big time. And like that, nothing needs to worry you more than make this happen. This is going to be short. Keep working, keep sending all your information. Actually, Ali, I really like what you did with your computer showing the property on the computer. I was like, I gotta copy that. <laughs> so I, I don't have to I don't have to leave my house. It's like, okay, this is the apartment that I have for you. That was awesome. I loved it. And uh, and and remember these words, like yeah, yeah. remember. Of course. I mean, it's, uh, the, extru the extruction comes with the construction and lots of sales for the future. Just make sure that have everything ready to go again and call all your clients. That's what you have to do. Tell them, ask them how are they doing. Ask them if, uh, tell them what is happening in the area, uh, what uh, you are doing for the community, what's the community doing for everybody. Start calling everybody. Show them that you care about them and they're gonna appreciate that okay so it's the no moment to do you know until they know how much you care and we do yeah, we care we do care because we're gonna be always for them but let them know make those relationships stronger and that's all we need and from there after this uh uh, coronavirus goes away. We're going to start looking at your clients coming back. You're my first stop, Playa del Carmen. The one thing about all of us, and now I'm going to introduce Nick in a minute, but the one thing about all of us is that we all have the same business coach. And she has been working with us since the beginning of time on our mindset. And everybody is flipping out. And, and it, this doesn't have to do with real estate. This doesn't have to do, this is just the world. If you well, if you, if you worry about it, it's going to happen. So let's not worry about it. And let's, let's just keep doing business as usual mentally so that when this is over, we are sharp, we are focused, and we are moving forward. Nick, introduce yourself, um, where you, who you are, where you're from, and what level of quarantine are you on right now? Hey guys, sorry for being late. Well, I think I don't have to introduce uh, Frank. I also saw you before already, you know, in one of the masterminds. But anyway, nice to see you again, Mayra, Ali. Um, well, we are in um, uh, like like la since last Monday, uh, it really started to be serious on Curacao. So that means that uh, the government shut down all the uh, the air airliners. Uh, all flights coming in, there's nobody coming in anymore, just uh, planes with empty planes taking people out, uh, which is good for the island. Then we are um, uh, some to be in quarantine, but you can still go out. Um, bars uh, are closed, but for example, restaurants can do takeout deliveries and stores, uh, retail stores are still open. So uh, the advice is to stay at home, work from home where it's possible, but you are you are not fine when you go out on the street, so you can still go out, which basically means that we as realtors can also still do showings if clients want it. So what I'm doing the last few days is just uh, checking, okay, where can I find some loopholes, clients who are willing to really uh, see a property, but who are also serious because now you're like more than ever extra sharp on that. And um, yeah, luckily I have some things going on um, so, um, yeah, to, to try to get over this uh, bad period that is ahead of us. I was, I don't know how you guys were in pipeline wise, but it was a horrible time for, not, for me because my pipeline was almost empty. I had many things that like almost came in and then we got Corona. So timing sucks. So there's no other solution to them to just move on. Like you said, keep the mindset healthy keep in contact with as much clients as possible. And then for me, that's why I try to do it now because now it's still possible uh, to still do some showings with the things that I say like, okay, that can really get me like an offer. Yeah. 
I also think we have the advantage of because we work with our coach and because we're we're the superstars of our coach. Come on, we're the best. Um, we run our business like a business. There are plenty of people out there who are doing it as a hobby, right? Like, oh yeah, I'll show you this house. Oh yeah. <laughs> but we don't play like that. So therefore, when our pipeline gets quote unquote dry, mm -mm, Mama Sandra will not let that happen, right? She's been looking through our finances. She makes sure that we have the reserves to not only weather this ourselves, but to be able to come to our clients in a way that we're not pushing a sale because we need a sale. We, if they want the sale, they can have it. If they don't, we'll hit you up in a couple months. We're, it, I think that that's what makes us unique. Don't you guys think? I mean, absolutely. That, that's exactly, uh, I mean, the best words that you can have for that. Remember that we are the most important things for our clients. We are the ones that uh, knows where the money is going to be safe, where they have to go, because we, we give them that, uh, how you say in, in English, uh, la tranquilidad de. Peace of mind. <laughs> <laughs> the peace of mind. You, you give them the peace of mind because you are the most professional person that they can know. So when you have that level with your clients, they don't care about the property anymore. They just go where whatever Ali tells me, whatever Mayra tells me, or whatever Nick tells me. So that's why we need to be in contact with them right now. It's like tell them, it's like, don't worry, if you were going to come now. Uh, wait a couple of weeks, wait three weeks, and then you come. Meanwhile, I'll send you all the information on the properties. Meanwhile, you know, maybe we're going to have good deals because of this. Yep. Exactly. You know? So let's everybody, let's do, let's do a rose and a thorn. I don't know if you know what that is. I'll explain in Spanish or maybe in Nick Dutch. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. can't. Then I would uh, go ahead. The Dutch is Spanish, <laughs> please. Is rose is a good thing and the thorn is a bad thing. So tell me the good news and the bad news from your current business, your current market right now. Rose and thorn. Okay, I'll give you for me um, my thorn, and I'm gonna go with thorn first because I love to end on a rose. My thorn is um, my thorn actually is just with my own guilt. I don't want to be going out. I really don't, and I know that I should stay at home and I should be an example, but. I also have the nagging feeling that I have to go on a showing because this is my business. I have to serve my clients. That's my real thorn right now. None of my thorn is, I lost this big list. That to me is, is not as, as troubling as the harm that I might be doing to the public good. That is why I am trying my very hardest to be the most sanitized realtor out there on the planet. <laughs> Um, my rose is that my face. I imagine you look like this. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ali. <laughs> Welcome. No handshakes. We do the Wakanda salute, boy. No. Okay. But no. uh, we give hugs you. here. No hugs. God, I want to hug people so bad. I just want human connection. But no. <laughs> uh, the good news is, is that I am just shocked by the people who aren't freaking out. I'm shocked by the people who, I mean, pleasantly surprised by the people who are just like, of course, this too shall pass. Um, I had a, a seller for a larger listing that I'm working on who was like, yeah, I want to list on April 15th, rain, shine, corona or not, but just don't come to my house today. And I was like, I got you, girl. We good. Just we did a little video walkthrough and I'm ready to go with her listing video. I'm ready to go with everything. So the bad news is I feel like I am hurting people. The good news is that I am so, so pleasantly surprised by how my clients have taken this in stride when, when a lot of people on you know, on these like realtor groups that we're friends with are like, oh my God, the sky is falling. We're, we're good. Uh, let's go with Nick. Nick, what's the good news and the bad news for you in your market right now? Uh, I will start with Torrance then. Uh, for me, uh, that is like a, a deal that was like a 100% sure deal. Yeah. But now because uh, uh, yeah, in my uh, island, the tourist, touristic sector will be hard, hit hardest. And the guy didn't get his uh, one-year contract. And the bank was like depending on the contract. So uh, the deal is, is like 50-50 chance falling apart. Mm -hmm. And that was a bummer for me. So that was like really like a disappointment. 
Um, but yeah, th this is uh, actually it's it's none other than what we what happens to us. Mm -hmm. uh, and with that deal, I got some even some good news because now apparently the lady finally the buyer finally got a letter from the insurance in Holland stating that for the next ten years she is insured. So that will give the bank hopefully another motivation to do still give the mortgage. So well, uh, but that was my torn. And then the good things is that I uh, made a hot list of all my buyers and it has never been bigger as now. And actually I had a second showing this morning and uh, we are assuming that it get, gets us an offer in. And it's for um, a, a, a decent price here because it's like a $400,000 property and that's for Curacao market, it's already high. So okay. I'm happy with that. Woo. All right, let's go to Myra. Myra, Rose and Thorn. The thorns would be that I tried it yesterday and it really, I did not like it. Um, so I'm not sure how it's going to work out once it's a mandatory lockdown. I'm used to getting up at 430 in the morning. And uh, yesterday I'm like, okay, well, you know, I'm just going to try staying at home. And uh, it was just, it was just hard, you know, having to do everything later. Um, so I think having to change and having to work with a different schedule, I think that's going to be, um, the that's going to be challenging. Definitely. Um, the rose, I mean, the good things is that, um, I'm starting to see, uh, right now, maybe because a lot of the, the clients are, um, are hearing about the interest rates or are probably having more time in their hands. Um, they're calling me and asking me, okay, you know, what do I need to buy a house? You know, give me more information. So it's like, okay, so that's going to be, um, that's something good for me because now it's like, okay, you know, let's start scheduling an appointment, but now let's do a video appointment. Uh, and you know, just get you ready, but just wait for me in one week or two weeks. And you know, we're going to get you inside the house, uh, you know, more showings. And Myra and I know that our Spanish-speaking clientele that live here in the United States, they do want to do everything face-to-face. -face. You can't do, you know, to just, they need that reassurance. So we, we've actually been primed for this. This is what we've been waiting for our whole lives. Like, I, and I can sit here and I can be naked from the waist down. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. Oh my God. All right. Frank, your rose and your thorn. What well, was rose? What well, was thorn? Thorn is bad. Rose is good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. okay. Uh, turn, let's start with the bad things. Um, uh, I think the turn part is that there's a lot of cancellations in my, in my city. So people that was coming, it's not coming anymore. They're canceling all the way from Europe to uh, Canada. So um, we are losing a lot of uh, tours. We are losing a lot of uh, months and months of, of work because, you know, 98% of my sales is the people that they don't live here. They live outside. So when finally they are ready to arrive, uh, then you have the cancellation and you're like, ah, and they need to reschedule, but until when, we don't know. So uh, that, might be, that might be the uh, worst part if you, if you want to see it like that. And the good part is that I can work in my boxer, so that's good, in my house. <laughs> and the second, the, the second one is that actually we are um, working stronger with my team about the strategies that we are going to have for the rest of the year, how we are going to recover of this, how can we uh, work with our marketing strategies in order to regain the confidence of our area as soon as this goes away. So that's uh, the good thing. My team and I, we're working harder because we have uh, more time right now and we're gonna become strong and we are going to work twice the time so we can have those clients back. And even uh, part of my sales is uh, sometimes I do it and they never come here, you know? Yep. So if you are smart, I mean, Try to take this as an advantage. Yep. We're doing this. Uh, we, this is like, uh, we are so professional that it doesn't matter if it is the current coronavirus or if we have something else. We need to focus, okay? That's the most important part. 
don't don't be afraid of what's going to happen with me uh are, are we going to lose everything no let everybody else think that if somebody freaks out let them freak out i mean not you i mean you have to be positive always all the time and go behind the like we say in mexico i'm gonna uh, teach you a mexican word ve detrás de la chuleta okay <laughs> so run behind the uh, pork chop that's oh. what you have to do <laughs> okay, so my last question for you guys is, and this is not as realtors, this is just as humans. You can hear my children crying in the background because, you know, that's no school. <laughs> awesome. Um, <laughs> uh, in two or three sentences maximum, what do you want people to know about you as a person, where you are in your state, in your country, etc.? There is someone watching my kids, I promise. They're not just crying by themselves. So are in you sure? <laughs> oh, wait. The beer can't babysit the kids? Dang, I forgot. All right, so in my state, it's that I feel very, and I've never thought I would say this in my entire life, I feel so confident with the job that, Sebastian, go away, I know. Okay, sorry. I feel so confident with the, the job that our governor is doing, and I know that everything that is being put in place is meant to protect us, and I didn't have high expectations for our governor, but he is pleasantly surprising me, and I am... I am proud to be a mail earner, and I am so happy that this is happening to us with him in our, in, we're in his hands, and I am so pleased with the job he's doing. That's what I can say, is that Maryland is safe um, because of our governor. Um, Nick, what about you in Curacao? What is it as humans that we need to know about Curacao? Well, as human, uh, I am happy to discuss Cover or to see that um, people are picking up in a positive way um, as humans, not for business always, but as humans. And what I'm trying to think of is all the positive. Uh oh. Because I think that um, I, I, I do believe that when, when, as soon as it's over, people are running, we're gonna, gonna uh, run. Uh, recuperate on what they missed out on. So that's either buying houses, going on holidays, uh, um, going out with the family and friends. And, and I think the economy is going to get an extra boost out of that as soon as this whole thing blows over. And I'm keeping positive that it will only be like a two month max period. Great. I agree. That's awesome. And that's in your market. That is, that is like, that's the, the biggest hope. Maida, what do you, what do you got to say? Um, I think here, um, we actually, I get to see our community actually coming together, um, you know, like schools, uh, providing breakfast and lunch to our students and to actually to everyone, they, they, they don't even need to provide an ID and uh, opening uh, the groceries for our seniors and our, uh, you know, pregnant women and people with disabilities uh, for a few hours before they even let just, uh, you know, your regular normal people in. And, uh, you know, you see a lot of people coming together. If there's anyone that probably needs, uh, they're, they're probably running low on something and, you know, they put it up out on Facebook. You know, you see a few people out there coming out together. He's like, don't worry, uh, I got you. Where you're at, we can meet somewhere and I will, I'll give you, I'll give it to you for free. So you see people, you know, uniting. And uh, I think another thing is also, um, taking, uh, you know, those things that we take for granted, I think they're kind of becoming more important now. So I think in a way it's, it's good. It, there's always a, it's a, um, a blessing in disguise, I would say. Silver lining. Yep. All right, Frank, what you got? Playa del Carmen, the most beautiful place in the world that he loves to remind us of all the time. When you see Frank, what is right. great about Playa del Carmen right now in this situation as humans? That if you get Corona, don't forget the lime. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, um, I think that basically the people in Mexico, as you all know, is uh, very welcoming and also they help each other. And um, everybody here knows that this is a serious matter and they're taking actions on it right now. And one of uh, the best things that we can see it right now is how many uh, cases of uh, the coronavirus we have. It's very low. 
what they the government is trying to uh, have this control it's it is working so I think uh, I'm very happy because even though if this uh, grows we are ready we are prepared and uh, just to tell everybody else it doesn't matter where you are try to uh, help your community and try to uh, be careful and listen what they say you know so everybody will be fine unfortunately around the world we already had many cases of death so if you have elders uh, don't let them go out yes. don't let them go out to the grocery stores don't let them go out to the hospitals I hope nobody of you guys get it, but if you get it, don't go running to the hospitals. The hospitals are the worst places to go right now. So stay home unless that you have an issue with uh, your lungs or something like that, then you go to the hospital. But if you get it, just stay home, away from everybody, and uh, we'll be fine. Okay. Thanks, Dr. Ruiz. Yes. All right. <laughs> so um, I'm really happy that we spoke. I think that people are going to enjoy our conversation because it's it's really nice to get a global perspective, not just I heard this from my friend and my cousin said this and blah blah blah. We are keeping it on a global level. We're trying to maintain your faith in humanity, maintain your faith in real estate, and I hope to see you guys in August if everything goes well and we can go back to traveling. I'll see you in August in California. Please? Yes, we'll, yes, we'll see you there. Yes. Okay, yeah. thanks, guys. Great talk. Great. Bye. 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 Bye.